Okay, some thoughts on herb capsules by Dr. Patrick Jones of the Homegrown Herbalist. I was walking past the pharmaceutical section in my local grocery store the other day. It was amazing to see how many herbal products they had on the shelves. All kinds of stuff. It's great to have herbal supplements that have become so popular. The only downside is that every single one of those products was packaged in capsules. I'm not a big fan of capsules, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they don't have significant advantages. Capsules make herbs easy to swallow. Capsules are particularly nice when dealing with herbs that have an unpleasant flavor or texture. They're also terrifically convenient. Encapsulating gadgets can be purchased at most types of food stores and are easy to use. However, there is one big disadvantage. Herbs taken in capsules don't start interacting with the body until the capsule is dissolved. This usually happens somewhere in the small intestines where the gelatin capsule is finally digested by the body's enzyme. So, what's wrong with that? Well, the fact is that some of these herbs have some or all of their medical effects because of their strong flavors and intense stimuli. Stomach bitters are a perfect example. This group of herbs that soothe the gastrointestinal system and easy to ease digestion. The better taste of these plants stimulates the saliva and the gut movement. And in order for these things to happen, the bitter taste must be experienced in the mouth. Cayenne is another herb that depends on its local effects in the mouth. For some of its medical properties, the effects of the cayenne in capsules is very different than the effects of the cayenne with the capsule, without the capsules. Madam, we just received a message from the duodem. It appears there had been some sort of accident. Accident? What kind of accident? Well, madam, apparently they were processing some gelatin and there was some kind of explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know? Do I know? Isn't that down in the bowels somewhere? Yes, madam. Small intestines, I believe. Well, I can't possibly be bothered with that right now. I'm nearly at level five on my Tetris game. <laughs> Tell them whatever it is, I'm sure it will pass. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Now, contrast that with the response of cayenne taken without a capsule. Is it getting hot in here? Yes, madam. Her mouth temperature just increased 500%. Currently, the whole place is on fire. What? Fire? Here? In the head? Increase the heart rate and the respiration. Dilate all those blood vessels. I want full circulatory flush. Mouth temperature still rising, sir. Impossible. Increase the salivation and bicarbonate production. Dump everything from the sinuses. Get those tear ducts and sweat glands pumping. I want to throw everything we've got at that fire. So taking a medical herb should be a holistic experience. Ideally, the plant should be able to interact with our entire body all the way through. The stronger the flavor of the herb, the more likely it is that much of it is sex happens in the mouth. So ironically, the herbs we're most likely to want to put in capsules are the ones most likely to have their medical values diminished if we do so. Certainly an herb in a capsule is, is usually better than no herb at all. And there are some herbs that can be encapsulated without their medical effects being diminished. But for the most part, I believe you get better medical effects without the capsule. Don't be a sissy. Take your herbs the way God designed them to be taken. Your mouth may be mad, but the rest of your bottle, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.